Hey what's up guys, Will here for GSM Arena. The new Xiaomi 14 Ultra is one of the best camera phones to come out recently. But the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is one of the best Android phones around, camera centric or otherwise. If you compare these two flagships, which one comes out on top? Let's put them head to head and find out. Both the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and the Galaxy S24 Ultra are the top tier devices from the respective manufacturers and have plenty to offer. Design wise, they're quite different. The Xiaomi has a more curvy, fluid shape and an eco leather back. The Samsung has a flat glass back and a blocky shape with sharp corners. There's a huge difference in the camera presentation. And while the Galaxy has a titanium frame, the global Xiaomi 14 Ultra has one from aluminum. Both phones are IP68 rated for dust and water resistance, as you'd expect from a top flagship. Speaking of waterproofing, the S24 Ultra's stylus is IP rated too, and is included with the phone. The stylus support is something unique, and adds an extra layer of creativity. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra does have something special of its own, the Xiaomi Photography Kit. It adds a ring for lens filters and physical controls for the cameras, and the whole ensemble looks and feels like a real camera but the kit is sold separately for around 200 bucks. The OLED screens of these two flagships are very similar, but at 6.8 inches, the Galaxy's is slightly bigger and is protected by Corning Gorilla Armor glass. The Xiaomi's display is 6.73 inches and is again a 1440p LTPO panel with a 120 hz refresh rate. This one's protected by Xiaomi Shield glass. While the glass of both displays should be plenty durable, the S24 Ultra's has one advantage, it's less reflective, providing less glare and better visibility. Both screens are quite sharp though and have excellent brightness, and their high refresh rates are extra adaptive thanks to LTPO tech. And both phones support HDR10+, but the Xiaomi 14 Ultra supports Dolby Vision too. The Galaxy's display isn't flawless though, and at very low brightness it exhibits a very fine graininess. This might bother you if you often use your phone in dark environments. Both phones feature stereo speaker setups with very good loudness. The sound quality is great on either phone, but the mids and bass are slightly better on the Samsung. When it comes to storage, the Galaxy's options start at 256 gigs and go up to a terabyte, while the Xiaomi is only available globally in one 512 gig option. While both are Android phones, the software experience is different. The S24 Ultra comes with Samsung's latest One UI, which brings a suite of custom features. This includes cutting edge AI features and functionality developed in collaboration with Google. Meanwhile, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra runs Xiaomi's Hyper OS interface. It also promises advanced AI based features, but these should be coming to the phone later down the line via software updates. Speaking of software support, Xiaomi says the 14 Ultra will get four OS updates and five years of security patches. Meanwhile, Samsung promises longer support, seven years of major OS updates and security patches. As far as the chipset goes, both of these phones are powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The Galaxy comes with 12 gigs of RAM, while the Xiaomi has 16 gigs. Benchmark performance is very similar between the two, and both of them post predictably high numbers. Neither is an underachiever. When it comes to sustained performance though, the Xiaomi did a notably better job during our prolonged stress tests, with less throttling. Both phones have the same 5000 mAh battery capacity, but the Galaxy's battery life is better, with an active use score of 13 hours and 49 minutes, versus 11 hours and 25 minutes from the Xiaomi. This amounted to an almost 40% advantage in gaming time, and nearly 30% longer video runtime on the Galaxy. When it comes to charging though, the Xiaomi is the clear winner. With this bundled 90 watt adapter, it charges almost twice as fast. In half an hour, it can go from 0 to 93%, versus around 70% on the Samsung. And a full charge took 34 minutes on the Xiaomi, versus the Samsung's 65 minutes. Both phones have support for wireless charging too. Finally, we've made it to the cameras. The Xiaomi has a 50 megapixel main cam, a 50 megapixel 3.2 times telephoto, a 50 megapixel 5 times telephoto, and a 50 megapixel ultra wide cam with autofocus. The main cam has a new 1 inch type sensor, and this year it also has a continuously variable aperture. There's also new close focusing capabilities of the two telephoto cameras to take close ups with. 
The Galaxy S24 Ultra has a 200 megapixel main cam, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, a 50 megapixel 5x telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus. It's largely the same setup as last year's model, except for the 5x telephoto, which is a new development. Despite all of the differences in hardware, the two phones actually produce quite similar end results. In daylight, there's no definitive winner when it comes to detail. Perhaps Xiaomi's telephoto cameras are slightly sharper. Overall, you get subtle differences in color rendition and contrast, too. Both phones offer nice close-up shooting capabilities, whether it's with the ultra-wide cameras or the telephotos. But at 3x zoom specifically, the Xiaomi is the clear winner, offering a closer focusing distance and overall much better quality. In low light, both phones produce great pictures, but again, there are differences in their approach. The Galaxy opts for a little more grain, which comes with better detail, while the Xiaomi's noise reduction produces cleaner, but slightly smoother shots. Dynamic range is excellent on both, though highlights are better preserved on the Galaxy. Both phones can record 4K slow-mo at 120fps from the main cam, and they both can do 8K video capture from the main and zoom cameras, but the Xiaomi can also shoot in 8K with this ultra-wide. During the day, video quality is excellent on both phones from all of the cameras. They're neck and neck, and there's not much to find fault with on either phone. In low light, again, the two main cameras produce the same good quality. But at night, the Galaxy's ultra-wide has the upper hand, offering better dynamic range and noise reduction. But the Xiaomi counters with better low-light zoomed footage. The Galaxy's selfie cam has autofocus, and its selfies are sharper and more detailed, with livelier colors. The Xiaomi selfies have a wider field of view, though. And here's a look at the 4K selfie videos taken with either phone. So there you have it, guys. The top camera phones from Xiaomi and Samsung duking it out, and actually, when it comes to cameras, they're pretty well matched. There are plenty of advantages to mention on either side. The S24 Ultra has the S Pen, longer battery life, One UI's AI features, and 7 years of software support. Its selfies are better too, and the model with base storage is less expensive. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra, on the other hand, has the curved eco leather design, faster charging, and better thermal management. It provides better close ups with its zoom cameras. And if you don't mind paying extra, the photography kit is quite unique. All things considered, the Galaxy S24 Ultra seems like a bit better value for money. But if you decide to go for the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, we wouldn't blame you either. It's even more camera oriented than the Galaxy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.